So, here we are at the vertical windmill. This is uh, two bearings. They are called uh, thrust uh, cage bearings. They might be called something else, but at any rate, a couple collars. So what this is here is doing is that it's taking the weight of this shaft from that top collar and putting it onto these two bearings and then I'm attaching it to the structure like so and uh, back up a little bit here try not to fall in the fire pit um, so here's my other windmill and uh, I have it on top of the table I've actually shimmed it so it's level because I thought that mattered and it doesn't it's actually a mistake I had with this vertical uh, axis uh, wind turbine, which doesn't have a turbine on it yet, but it will, maybe. Um, and my other one that I have pictures here and there of was that the bearing that I used was for a horizontal shaft. It's up there on top, and it's on top of this cross beam here. And it doesn't allow for movement as a vertical shaft, only as a horizontal. That's why when I turned it on its side, it uh, it spun like crazy. And I put, so, and I was, so what I've done is I put the bearing on the bottom. It really should be on top and um, of this cross beam, but it means taking everything apart and playing with it. Um, so that's where we're at. Uh, there's virtually uh, very little wind here right now. It's raining, but there's no movement. So I have to see how this one goes. I just did this yesterday evening and we really had very little wind. It's raining here. It's been raining here a lot for the last week. Um, it was nice on Sunday for graduation, high school graduation and um, my daughter. And uh, but other than that, it seems like it's been raining a lot, so um, we'll see how this one plays out. It was like a huge duh when I figured out that that was my problem. Um, but that's what we inventors do we tinker, tinker, tinker till it works. And uh, have a great day.